We got our hands on e-bikes straight out of Belgium. Pretty sweet, right? So let's see if these e-bikes are exceptional as their chocolate. Born in Belgium, we set the stage with an Auga e bike Let's turn the page. Urban baby, built for the city's embrace. 60 Newton meters, hot motor, we'll pick up the pace. Auga e The way to flow. I'm going to show you a couple of things. How this e-bike rides, uh, what are the main components, why somebody would buy this, and my conclusion or a small summary of what I think about Ahuga Urban. So continue to watch the video and give a like if you liked. Let's start with the obvious. 19 kilograms, freaking belt drive, hub motor, 60 Newton meters. You just pedal at 27, it goes great, which was my main concern when using the belt drive. I, I just didn't know how it will feel without any gears, but the combination of 60 Newton meter small hub motor and the combination with the carbon gauge belt drive, it seems perfect and uh, so it really does not need any gear. The biggest concern here was that this belt drive in combination with hub motor will not be good. Why? Because I expected that uh, I will pedal like this and the bike will move just like this. But combination with good sized front sprocket, rear sprocket and with the torque sensor makes these bikes totally good. Ah, have you seen this one before? I haven't. 378 watt hours. This unit feels really, really good. You can activate and deactivate battery here. You put this inside, just put it here, okay? Turn the key, it's locked. Turn this on to here. So usually I put it in the turn mode if I want to drive it out my hands and uh, Actually, this e-bike feels like a gravel bike, that new category. Huga wanted to make a smaller e-bike. Yes, with less weight than the regular one, that can still give you enough uh, uh, fun. So, it's not a folding bike, but it's not a 27 and a half or 29 inch uh, based e-bike. I enjoy this e-bike because it makes me feel like I'm uh, riding a vintage bike. It reminds me of uh, riding my BMX bikes from our first uh, uh, cycles. They were all 26 inch, of course. But then the Schwalbe tires really help here a lot. And I would rather have a hardtail like this, very well built hardtail like this, than to have a shitty entry level suspension. Let's see how the uphill goes. I'm going 18 kilometers per hour. Just remember, I have a hub motor, 60 Newton meters. This is not a mid motor. I'm not really sweating or anything like that. So let's go. And when I go downhill, it just cuts my power at 27. Still, I can pedal faster. And the brakes. I mean, you can see the speed I have. I have 100% confident in these brakes since they are Shimano, MT200, and you see 36, so let's do a brake test. And now, no problem. No problem at all. The brakes are beautiful. <laughs> now we are going to do a range test with a Huga bike. I'm not just going to drive on city, I'm going to drive on all kinds of terrains. Let me show you. Meaning 50% I'm going to drive in fifth gear and 50% in combined mode. First modes, first gear, second gear, third gear and so on. Now 
I have to walk because I don't want it uh, to touch the pedals again. This is the angle you can get with e-bike and the road. So it's pretty, it's pretty close. It's like uh, maybe five to seven centimeters from the floor. So because you have this feeling while riding this uh, e-bike that you can uh, do anything and that you are fully in control, just think about this if you are doing big turns and so on to put the pedals like this. So then you can you can ride it anywhere you want. In in urban areas and city, you will probably want to to try some nice turns and everything with this bike because it's very agile and it's like this bike is asking you to to do more uh, more of uh, this kind of riding. Okay, so let's continue. When buying a city bike, this is the terrain we're talking about, okay? Not the terrain where I was. Going. 44.7 Good ahoga. It's a really really small battery. I did not expect to get anywhere near 44 kilometers expect around 30 35 So we'll see how it ends up uh, What this means basically it means it's a very efficient system. The hub motor is made by Ikema It's famous brand, but not as famous as Bafang and this is the rare uh, belt sprocket we don't have any play going left and right or anything it's very well fixed uh, I did not have any issues of the belt falling down or anything like that okay let's move on we are finished with the range test the bike just stopped working at least the electric side so let's check out the kilometers we got 51 it's 20 kilometers more than I expected. Ahuga has three models. Urban is one of the flagships. They also have a folding model. Uh, it's totally mod modular design, uh, you can fold regularly the e-bike and then you remove the front wheel and then it becomes probably the smallest folding bike, 16 inch folding bike on the market right now. Then we have the cargo version, the cargo version is actually almost the same as Urban with uh, front and rear rack and with other accessories you can buy for this kind of uh, uh, cargo bike to make it more modular and to suit your needs whatever you have to do as a user of this bike and uh, the third one is urban bike one of the things that i like are these lights these are usb lights front and rear uh, when they are used you just remove them you can see just remove them and then uh, you can put them in your computer charge it and then for the next seven to ten hours these things these things work uh, you can change the modes as you can see and i really like that it's totally minimalistic in the philosophy of this bike then you just put it here and magnets put it in place that works for the rear light and it works for the front light as well. And we have a horn. Okay, there are three things that can be improved on this bike. Pedal clearance, this small uh, seat locking is made with, a, has a bolt. I think there should be a quick lock here and the seat is not comfortable. That's all. But if I were to get this C bike, and buy it, I would definitely get one accessory. Uh, one accessory, and that would be the seed, hydraulic seed dropper. So you remember when you was a kid and driving like this, 
This is very possible with this e-bike because it has a torque sensor and you can drive it standing. I put it in the second gear and just drive like this and have fun. With regular sensor, the speed pedalic sensor, I cannot do it because the motor is actually faster than me. And this one just listens to my legs and goes as fast as I go. So for me, this is a very, very fun machine. So what are the basic reasons why somebody should buy this? Uh, it's super light uh, to go to work with it. It's not a folding bike, but it still has some features like this handlebar, which is uh, like, uh, which can be folded uh, very easily, you know, and very easily you put it back. Then it's super simple without any gears or anything, so there is less thing to maintain here. Also, it feels great with this single speed. You are not missing out on any gears, but still, it's very important to point out that there are no gears. You don't need to, you know, switch the gears between first and the seventh gear and so on. So this is just very, very a uh, non-complicated, very simple system, very easy to use. Uh, no suspension, no moving parts. Still, the tires are very good. The sitting position is like on gravel bike, so that's okay. You just have to extend your hands like this. I was driving for one year only scooters, so this came as a beautiful change to me. Wow, so many bugs here. Like, uh, two weeks ago, this place was flooded uh, because of all the floods. So climate change, guys, is real. And there's nobody else who can convince me differently. These machines, let me just tell you, e-bikes, e-bikes are the most efficient electric devices out there. Scooters, you cannot pedal, you cannot add to the driving. Cars, electric cars, ah, too much drag and everything, they are not that efficient. Unicycles, very efficient, maybe even more efficient than electric scooters because they pack a whole lot of things in just one wheel. But e-bikes are the most efficient machines. With uh, less than 400 watt hours, you get a range of 50 kilometers. With 400 watt hours, you cannot get a whole lot of kilometers with uh, cars, scooters, or anything else. Okay, so if you like Ahuga e bikes, please leave a comment. If you want to know something, ask me. I've done a lot of kilometers on this one, and I can tell you all the details you want to know. One thing I forgot to tell you is that. Every single thing on this e-bike is high quality. Uh, you can even feel that the paint will not, that the paint is scratch resistant. Also, the charger is this small. It's not bulky as this one. It's not the cheapo charger from the market. So, please ask me if you have any questions. Ahuga, thank you for sending this e-bike. I really love it. I knew I would find Something that I totally love about this e-bike. See you next time. Big kiss. Bye-bye. Born and built, and we set the stage with an Auga e-bike. Let's turn the page. Urban baby built for the city's embrace. 60 Newton meters, hot motor, we'll pick up the pace. Auga e-bike. It's the way to flow Cruising through the streets so smooth and sleek No need for petrol, it's electrical speak Belt drive, no chains, it's a whisper breeze Oh, God,